Hi, Daniel with DanielParsonsMinistry.com, and today we are going to have the Life Journal Bible reading plan for the 25th of September. We'll cover Ezra chapter 2 and 3 in the Old Testament and Luke chapter 8 in the New Testament. The New King James Version of the Bible, Ezra 2, the captives who returned to Jerusalem. Now, these are the people of the province who came back from the captivity of those who had been carried away, whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried away to Babylon, and who returned to Jerusalem and Judah, everyone to his own city. Those who came with Jerubbabel were Jeshua, Nehemiah, Sariah, Reliah, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mispar, Bigvi, Rehum, and Bana. The number of the men of the people of Israel, the people of Parash, 2,172. The people of Shephatiah, 372. The people of Era, 775. The people of Pahath Moab, of the people of Jeshua and Joab, 2,812. The people of Elam, 1,254. The people of Zatu, 945. The people of Zakai, 760. The people of Bani, 642. The people of Babai, 623. The people of Asgad, 1,222. The people of Adonai Kaim, 1,666. Uh, the people of Bigvi, 2,056. The people of Adan, 454. The people of Ater of Hezekiah, 98, the people of Beziah, 323, the people of Jorah, 112, the people of Hashum, 223, the people of Gibar, 95, the people of Bethlehem, 123, the men of Netophath, 56, the men of Anathoth, 128, the people of Azimath, 42, the people of Kirjath Arim, Shapira, and Biroth, 743, the people of Ramah and Geba, 621, the men of Michmash, 122, the men of Bethel and Ai, 223, the people of Nebo, 52, the people of Magbish, 156, the people of the other Elam, 1254, the people of Harim, 320, the people of Lod, Hadid, and Ono, 725. The people of Jericho, 345. The people of Sinai, 3,630. The priests, the sons of Jedediah, of the house of Jeshua, 973. The sons of Emmer, 1,052. The sons of Pashur, 1,247. The sons of Harim, 1,017. The Levites, the sons of Jeshua and Kadmiel, of the sons of Hodaviah, 74. The singers, the sons of Asaph, 128. The sons of the gatekeepers, the sons of Shalom, the sons of Ater, the sons of Talmon, the sons of Akbu, the sons of Hattai, and the sons of Shobai, 139 in all. The Nethinim, the sons of Ziha, the sons of Hashupa, the sons of Tabaath, the sons of Kiros, the sons of Shia, the sons of Padon, the sons of Lebanah, the sons of Hagabah, the sons of Akub, the sons of Hagab, the sons of Shalmai, the sons of Hanan, the sons of Gideel, the sons of Gahar, the sons of Rehiah, the sons of Rezin, the sons of Nekoda, the sons of Gazam, the sons of Uza, the sons of Pashe, the sons of Besai, the sons of Asna, the sons of Munim, the sons of Nefusim, the sons of Bakbuk, the sons of Hakupa, the sons of Harhur, the sons of Bazluk, the sons of Mehida, the sons of Harsha, the sons of Barkos, the sons of Sisera, the sons of Tema, the sons of Neziah, and the sons of Hatifa, the sons of Solomon's servants, the sons of Sokai, the sons of Sophereth, the sons of Peruda, the sons of Jala, the sons of Darkon, the sons of Gidel, the sons of Shephathai, the sons of Hatil, the sons of Pachareth, of Zebaim, and the sons of Ami. All the Nethinim and the children of Solomon's servants were 392. These are the ones who came up from Tel Mela, Tel Harsha, Cherub, 
Adan and Immer, but they could not identify their father's house or their genealogy where they were of Israel, whether they were of Israel. The sons of Deliah, the sons of Tobiah, the sons of Nicoda, 652, and the sons of the priests, the sons of Habiah, the sons of Kaz, and the sons of Barzillai, who took a wife of the daughters of Barzillai the Gilead and was called by their name. These sought their listing among those who were registered by genealogy, but they were not found. Therefore, they were excluded from the priesthood as defiled. And the governor said to them that they should not eat of the most holy things till the priest could consult with the Urim and Thummim. The whole assembly together was 42,360, besides their male and female servants, of whom there were 7,337. And they had 200 men and women singers. Their horses were 736, their mules 245, their camels 440. I'm sorry, 435, and their donkeys 6,720. Some of the heads of the father's houses, when they came to the house of the Lord, which is in Jerusalem, offered freely for the house of God to erect it in its place. According to their ability, they gave to the treasury for the work 61,000 gold drachmas, 5,000 minas of silver, and 100 priestly garments. So the priests and the Levites, some of the people, the singers, the gatekeepers, and the Nethinim, dwelt in their cities and all Israel in their cities. So as I'm pulling up Ezra 3, we go through the Old Testament once in a year's time and the New Testament twice in a year's time. Ezra 3, worship restored at Jerusalem. And when the seventh month had come and the children of Israel were in the cities, the people gathered together as one man to Jerusalem. Then Jeshua, the son of Josadak, and his brethren, the priest, and Zerubbabel, the son of Shithel, and his brethren arose and built the altar of the God of Israel to offer burnt offerings on it. As it is written in the law of Moses, the man of God, though fear had come upon them because of the people of those countries, they set the altar on its bases and they offered burnt offerings on it to the Lord, both the morning and evening burnt offerings. They also kept the Feast of Tabernacles as it, it is written and offered the daily burnt offerings and the number required by ordinance for each day. Afterwards, they offered the regular burnt offering and those for the new moons and for all the appointed feasts of the Lord that were consecrated and those of everyone who willingly offered a free will offering to the Lord. From the first day of the seventh month, they began to offer burnt offerings to the Lord, although the foundation of the temple of the Lord had not been laid. They also gave money to the masons and the carpenters and food, drink, and oil to the people of Sidon and Tyre to bring cedar logs from Lebanon to the sea to Joppa, according to the permission which they had from Cyrus, king of Persia. Restoration of the temple begins. Now in the second month of the second year of their coming to the house of God at Jerusalem, Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, Jeshua, the son of Josadak, and the rest of their brethren, the priests and the Levites, and all those who had come out of the captivity to Jerusalem, began work and appointed the Levites from 20 years old and above to oversee the work of the house of the Lord. Then Jeshua with his sons and brothers, Cadmiel with his sons and the sons of Judah arose as one to oversee those working on the house of God, the sons of Hinnadad with their sons and their brethren, the Levites. When the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, the priests stood in their apparel with trumpets and the Levites, the sons of Asaph, the symbols to praise the Lord according to the ordinance of David, king of Israel. And they sang responsively, praising and giving thanks to the Lord. For he is good, for his mercy endures forever toward Israel. Then all the people shouted with a great shout, and they praised the Lord, because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. But many of the priests and Levites and heads of the fathers' houses, old men who had seen the first temple, wept with a loud voice when the foundation of this temple was laid before their eyes. Yet many shouted aloud for joy, so that the people could not discern the noise of the shout of joy from the noise of the weeping of the people. For the people shouted with a loud shout, and the sound was heard afar off. Now it's time for Luke chapter 8. And as I get that, we've got hundreds of spiritual messages at DanielParsonsMinistry.com. And my wife, Patricia, is a gourmet chef. She's got hundreds of really delicious vegan recipes. Click the Healthy Living tab at DanielParsonsMinistry.com. Comment on your favorites, and please um, uh, let us know. And we enjoy interacting with you. Thank you.
So Luke chapter 8, many women ministered to Jesus. Now it came to pass afterward that he went through every city and village preaching and bringing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him. And certain women who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom had come seven demons, and Joanna, the wife of Chuza, Herod steward, and Susanna, and many others who provided for him from their substance. The parable of the sower. And when a great multitude had gathered and they had come to him from every city, he spoke by a parable. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trampled down, and the birds of the air devoured it. Some fell on rock, and as soon as it sprang up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. But others fell on good ground, sprang up, and yielded a crop of a hundredfold. When he had said these things, he cried, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. The purpose of parables. Then his disciples asked him, saying, What does this parable mean? And he said, To you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but the rest it is, to the rest it is given in parables, that seeing they may not see, and hearing they may not understand. The parable of the sower explained. Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are the ones who hear it. Then the devil comes and takes away the word of out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. But the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear, receive the word with joy, and these have no root, who believe for a while, and in time of temptation fall away. Now the ones that fell among thorns are those who, when they have heard, go out and are choked with cares, riches, and pleasures of life, and bring no fruit to maturity. But the ones that fell on the good ground are those who, having heard the word with a noble and good heart, keep it and bear fruit with patience. The parable of the revealed light, no one, when he has lit a lamp, covers it with a vessel or puts it under a bed, but sets it on a lampstand, that those who enter may see the light. For nothing is secret that will not be revealed, or anything hidden that will not be known and come to light. Therefore, take heed how you hear. For whoever has, to him more will be given, and whoever does not have, even what he seems to have, will be taken from him. Jesus' mother and brothers come to him. Then his mother and brothers came to him and could not approach him because of the crowd. And it was told him by some who said, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside desiring to see you. But he answered and said to them, My mother and my brothers are these who hear the word of God and do it. Wind and wave obey Jesus. Now it happened on a certain day that he got into a boat with his disciples and he said to them, let us cross over to the other side of the lake. And they launched out. But as he sailed, he fell asleep and a windstorm came down on the lake and they were filling with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and awoke him saying, master, master, we are perishing. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water and they ceased and there was a calm. But he, let, he said to them, where is your faith? And they were afraid and marveled saying to one another, who can this be? For he commands even the winds and water, and they obey him. A demon-possessed man healed. Then they sailed to the country of the Gadarenes, which is opposite Galilee. And when he stepped out on the land, there met him a certain man from the city who had demons for a long time. And he wore no clothes, nor did he live in a house but in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he cried out, fell down before him, and with a loud voice said, What have I to do with you, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I beg you, do not torment me, for we had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For it had often seized him, and he was kept under guard, bound with chains and shackles, and he broke the bonds and was driven by the demon into the wilderness. Jesus asked him, saying, What is your name? And he said, Legion, because many demons had entered him, and they begged him that he would not command them to go out into the abyss. And I heard of many swine was feeding there on the mountain. So they begged him that he would permit them to enter them, and he permitted them. Then the demons went out of the man and entered the swine, and the herd ran violently down the steep place into the lake and drowned. When those who fed them saw what had happened, they fled and told it in the city and in the country. Then they went out to see what had happened and came to Jesus and found the man from whom the demons had departed sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. They also, who had seen it, told them by what means he who had been demon-possessed was healed. Then the whole multitude in the surrounding region of the Gadarenes asked him to depart from them. For they were seized with great fear, and he got into the boat and returned. Now the man from whom the demons had departed begged him that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your own house and tell what great things God has done for you. 
And he went his way and proclaimed throughout the whole city what great things Jesus had done for him. A girl restored to life and a woman healed. So it was when Jesus returned and the mul that the multitude welcomed him, for they were all waiting for him. And behold, there came a man named Jairus, and he was a ruler of the synagogue. He fell down at Jesus' feet and begged him to come to his house, for he had only an only daughter about 12 years of age, and she was dying. But as he went, the multitudes thronged him. Now a woman having a flow of blood for 12 years, who had spent all her livelihood on physicians and could not be healed by any, came from behind and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her flow of blood stopped. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied it, Peter and those with him said, Master, the multitudes throng and press you, and you say, Who touched me? But Jesus said, Somebody touched me, for I perceive power going out from me. Now when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared to him in the presence of all the people the reason she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he said to her, Daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. While he was still speaking, someone came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to him, Your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher. But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Do not be afraid. Only believe, and she will be made well. When he came into the house, he permitted no one to go in except Peter, James, and John, and the father and mother of the girl. Now all wept and mourned for her, but he said, Do not weep. She is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him, knowing that she was dead. But he put them all outside, took her by the hand, and called, saying, Little girl, arise. Then her spirit returned, and she arose immediately. And he commanded that she be given something to eat. And her parents were astonished, but he charged them to tell no one what had happened. That's the end of today's Bible reading, my friends. God bless you until we're together again. Bye for now.